Hi, my name is Mike. I'm the Director of Research and Innovation, and I would give FileCamp a four out of five. For more reviews like this, click below. Prior to using FileCamp, we were using Dropbox. It wasn't working for us because we wanted something that had a lot of customization in terms of white labeling for our company. We also wanted something that could have a lot of users, uh, but not a huge price attached to that for having tons of users. The big reason we chose FileCamp was for its ability to customize file folders and uh, files themselves, the icons for them. We have a lot of non-tech savvy users that use uh, our service. So we wanted something that looked very easy for people. So having photos attached to the thumbnails was really important. We also um, wanted to be able to white label the login so that when people would go to log in, it didn't look like they were logging into a Dropbox or to Google Drive, but instead that they were logging into our company's portal. So that was uh, really the most important. Those two are the real important ones uh, because um, no other service that we found had that. Uh, we looked around extensively for anything else that would have that option and we could not find it. So that alone was our main reason for choosing it. But in addition, we chose it because it's relatively easy to use their service, like from a you know basic looking at a perspective, the, Backend is easy to use for or for uh, users, so that was another reason uh, we chose it. We also chose it because um, there are unlimited users for all of their accounts. Uh, that's huge because a lot of the other services, they have a, a charge per user or up to a certain number of users. That would have become prohibitively expensive for our company. So because they have uh, unlimited users for all of their um, uh, accounts that worked perfectly for us. Um, so those really are the key reasons we chose FileCamp. It was very easy to get started with FileCamp. If, you, if you've used any other file sharing or cloud storage service, it's going to be pretty similar to all of those. Um, you know, you're given an admin account, you can upload folders and give permission to various users. Uh, everything was pretty easy and they did have documentation and, and help as well available if you needed it. Um, and I believe I did contact their support and they did help with a couple of things. Uh, but it was really easy. Even the customization of the folders and the white labeling of the login, all of that was really uh, intuitive to use. So if you're considering FileCamp, think about whether you want the customization for uh, files and for thumbnails, etc. If so, this is really your only option out there, uh, you know, based on our searching. Uh, also, make sure you don't have huge file size needs because compared to other services like Dropbox and Google Drive, you're not going to get as much storage as you might be used to. So if you um, are looking for a huge amount of storage, it's going to be expensive for you. But if you have mild uh, needs in terms of storage, uh, Definitely this can be a great choice for you and potentially the only choice if you want customization.